Hey everyone, it's your girl Numi2004, also known as Princess 28 If you want to see how I get nice, soft curls like this, or even bigger, sexy curls like this, stay tuned. I'm going to start off by showing you how I get nice, soft curls in the morning without applying any additional heat to already flat ironed hair. This is one of my nighttime rituals and is basically a play on the traditional pin curl method, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. You want to start off by using a good moisturizer, any moisturizer of your choosing, a paddle brush just to distribute the moisturizer throughout the hair and remove any tangles, an ouchless scrunchie to hold your ponytail in place, and bobby pins. Now, I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my ends first. This will not only help protect my ends, but it'll also help set the curls. All I do is take about a quarter size amount of a moisturizer. I'm using an olive oil lotion by Biolage, and I go ahead and distribute that to the underside of my hair first. Then I take my paddle brush, and brush through my hair to remove any tangles and to fully distribute the product. If I feel that any areas need additional moisture, I'll just go ahead and add that. And as you can see, I'm concentrating on the ends of the hair. Then I flip my hair right side up smooth the hair into place and I'm now going to distribute some moisture to the top part of my hair. And as you can see I'm not using that much product and again, I'm going to go ahead and brush it out. I'm now going to start brushing the hair upward to begin fashioning it into a high ponytail. If you've seen my video, How I Roller Set My Hair at Night, this is the same technique I use when I'm using actual magnetic rollers. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and place my Alsha scrunchie in my hair to secure the uh, ponytail in place. And once that's done, I can start curling it. I begin sectioning the ponytail, taking a little bit of hair at a time and I'm bending down so you can see how I curl my hair with my fingers. This gets a little tricky for me because as many of you know my hair is cut into layers so as you can see I'll have to get another section where most of the layers are the same length. And what I'm essentially doing is rolling the hair around my fingers as if there's an imaginary hair roller there. And, as, and I don't always get it right the first time. I'm trying to make sure that all the ends are tucked under and once I have a nice little curl in place I go ahead and take a bobby pin and secure it at the base of the curl. Then I go ahead and take another section, use the paddle brush to remove any possible tangles and again use my fingers, move some of those short layers out the way use my fingers and roll the hair around it as if there's an imaginary roller in the middle. Now the reason why I love this technique is because first of all you don't have to apply any additional heat to your hair once it's been flat ironed and secondly it doesn't require any major tools. You don't have to take any bulky rollers with you when you're traveling and this is really how I curl my hair a lot of times when, I, when I'm traveling so I don't have to take a whole bunch of hair care products. So I'm just going to continue this method until all the hair in my ponytail is fashioned into a curl.
Here's a shot of what the ponytail pin curls look like from the front when done and from the back. Next, I take my satin scarf and wrap it around my hair to protect it as I sleep at night. Night, night. Okay, so the following morning, after I put on my makeup, as you can see, <laughs> I take off my satin scarf and begin removing the bobby pins. Once all the bobby pins have been removed, I let loose the curls. I have removed my ouchless scrunchie, and all I'm gonna do is finger comb through my hair because I don't want to break up the curls. Finger combing is what helps you get that nice, soft, tousled look. And there you have it. Nice, soft, loose curls thanks to the ponytail pin curl method. It's very easy and simple to do. Now, on to the next method. This next technique is one you're probably more familiar with. Instead of fashioning the hair into a ponytail, I start off by dividing my hair with the lower part then begin pin curling my hair by placing the pin curl against my head like so. This is the position of the first pin curl and I just continue that way until the bottom row is complete. I then move on to the next rows until all my hair is curled. Now, instead of sleeping with a satin scarf, I sleep with a silk bonnet to protect all of my hair. The next morning, I begin finger combing through it. And voila, nice, big, full curls. I hope you ladies enjoyed this tutorial and found it informative. See you next time.